Hello and welcome to episode 2 of this No Code series. In the first episode we had requested ideas from Chuck about a No Code app using App Engine Studio. We received the idea of a leave management app so we decided on that and in this particular episode what we'll be looking to do is just expand on that a little bit more to just document the likes of what we're trying to get out of this app, you know, goals, objectives. So we really are still at the requirements stage. At this point, typically, you would be creating the likes of a, you know, target state document um, and just trying to understand what the different data points are and interfaces and processes and things like that. So obviously, some of these things we're going to, again, ask Chuck for. And some of these things we're also going to also presume ourselves, which has just come from other conversations that's happened with uh, the real Chuck, let's say. <laughs> um, so let's kick on. Let's start the timer and let's ask Chuck and get this bits of information to just fill out our idea a little bit more. So timer has started. Okay, so this leave management app, so remember it was number four that we got back from Chuck here. Let's uh, continue and ask him and get him a little bit more information. I like idea four. Could you give some sample goals and objectives for that idea? Um, I'm going to say three sample goals and three sample goals objectives for that idea. Let's see what it comes back with. If it crashes, I'll just reload it. Or I'll just re-record this. Who knows? <laughs> um, right, here we go. So some interesting goals there. We'll be copy and pasting those. And three objectives. What? Why are you giving four? I didn't ask for four. <laughs> Clearly got some work to do in the training here. I don't want six. Right, okay, fantastic. Right, so we've got some goals and objectives. So let's have a quick look at these. To streamline the process of requesting and approving time off. Okay, very good. To increase visibility and transparency into employee vacation schedules. To reduce administrative burden on HR stuff. Lovely. Very nice. And some objectives there. So I'm going to just copy and paste these into our document. So hopefully, there we go. I'll adjust the um, formatting very soon. I'm just going to take the first three objectives. And obviously this is what we're going to be checking against all the way through to, um, uh, to make sure that we're meeting the criteria, right? The customer's criteria to um, make sure we're on track. So we've got those here and we've got those objectives there. So to streamline the process, to increase visibility and transparency and to reduce administrative burden. Beautiful. To allow employees to submit leave requests. So it's a bit more requirements focused here. So to allow employees to submit leave requests electronically, routed to the manager, lovely jubbly. That's a requirement. To allow managers to view and approve or deny leave requests, lovely jubbly, will do and to view the upcoming schedule. I think that's fantastic for the app. I think that's exactly what was on top of my mind of being able to deliver for this. Um, so in terms of outputs, obviously we can safely assume this now. So really this the outputs of this particular app is essentially a vacation um, request um, catalog. Um, it will need to be a uh, an approval function um, and um, like a upcoming balance um, like widget or viewer sort of thing let's say viewer there we go so obviously the different personas and access we can obviously safely presume we don't need to ask Chuck that I'm sure he would agree with us that from a persona perspective we have the general you know employee we also have the uh, the manager. Um, can I just do Alt and Enter? Yes, we can. And access required is obviously um, the approval requests for their staff. 
And from an employee perspective, um, obviously access is just to you know the portal side of things. Uh, oh well, uh, it'll be to the catalog and to their requests only and uh, their schedule. Let's call it. So that's the different personas that we're going to be delivering against. We've got less than a minute left. So task types we'll have is obviously we'll have some form of uh, maybe leave request. Uh, we have an approval record and I think that's about it. Very high level. Again, we could expand this as we go forward. Um, um, there could be also obviously schedule. Um, but in terms of task types, um, I reckon potentially just leave requests and approvals. Uh, data sources, so we'll be building this up. So where's the data actually going to come from? So um, obviously we'll have the users table. Um, we might, we'll probably have to have groups, maybe for the for the managers potentially, um, and information about obviously their schedule. Oh, we're down to zero seconds. I'm just going to quickly finish this off because it's very, very quick here. Users, groups, and schedule. Um, has different data points or foundational data that would need for this. We'll need to know who the users are. We'll need to know who the managers are. Um, perhaps that could be managed in, in groups, potentially. Um, so we can manage like the role-based access based on groups. Um, the schedules, um, they'll need to come from somewhere. And also, what else do we have? Mm, obviously the requests are being automatically generated so we don't need anything else there so let's just leave it at that for now and we'll come back to it interfaces i'm thinking two maybe obviously this is really going into solutioning now in terms of the interfaces required obviously um we're thinking absolutely a portal we could go new portal as well for the managers or we could really mix it up and say let's create a workspace for the managers to view their upcoming requests and things like that so let's have two uh, UIs. I know potentially we could say mobile as well. I'll put mobile on there as well, but just as a um, an added extra. Maybe we'll get to that at the end of the series. Uh, and process is really it's just essentially one, isn't it? It's a you know leave leave request process. Um, I'm sure this can build into m many other processes, but um, essentially that's it. So that's just give us a little bit more context about what we're trying to achieve. And as we're going through the build stage um, of this app, we are obviously going to be checking back against this to make sure that we're meeting this. This will be our, you know, our guiding principles. This will be what we're um, trying to uh, achieve. So once we're solutioning and trying to come up with cool ideas for this, I know we've done a little bit of solutioning here already. Um, but we need to come back and keep checking against this to make sure we're we're meeting Chuck's criteria. Okay, so that's it for this particular episode. Let me tell you what's coming up in the next one. In the next one, what we'll be looking to do is to um, get more involved with ServiceNow. So we need to jump into ServiceNow, start to configure the likes of the uh, App Engine Studio. We'll, we'll be... Um, starting to build out uh, the different areas of citizen development to be able to suggest this idea to the platform administrators because at the moment we're just dealing with this as a separate sort of entity we're suggesting this idea hopefully they approve it and we give enough information for them to approve it um, obviously different processes per organization but we're having a bit of fun with this here so um, we're showing what's possible so hopefully they'll approve the uh, the request there for this app and then we'll create a separate entity for us to be able to develop this app as a no-code developer. So join us in the next episode for more fun.